Hey, what's up guys? My name is Activator. I'm a Twitch streamer over at twitch.tv slash activator. And today I'm here to show you something kind of cool that you guys might be interested in. And that's how to install and set up your brand new transitions and stingers coming in for MoveGraph. I'm talking about OBS, slobs, and any other program you can find, even some that you can edit with. So let's jump right on in. So today we're going to look at a brand new stinger called Cubix. And when you get it downloaded for the first time, it comes in a zip folder. Now to open that up, you want to right click on it and hit extract all. And when you do, you're going to hit enter and you're going to get a brand new folder right up here. And when you open this up, you get another bunch of folders inside. Inside this folder, you will get a resource folder. And this is actually the stinger that we're going to be utilizing today. So if I open that up, you can see exactly what we're working with. Pretty cool. Now, this move file is not something you actually want to use. This is the file that you would use in an editing software if you choose to. If you actually put this inside of OBS or Slobs, you may get some audio issues or some hiccups, and you don't want that. Now, the files you do want to work with is you want to go back into the four stream section, and inside there, you're going to get three audio files. One's going to be the transition with audio, the one's going to be a little bit lower volume and one's going to have no volume. So you can choose which works best for your stream setups. Now, just keep in mind that when you do open these up, they might look a little weird inside of the player here. And that's because these files are web M files and those files are much smaller, but I assure you they look great inside of OBS and Streamlabs. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install for Streamlabs OBS. So now that we have slobs open, you can see that I have two scenes already pre-made and we have one with our gameplay and we have one with maybe our full cam screen. And uh, I want to show you guys the transition and how to get that all set up. So you can see right now we have a simple fade, but we want to add our stinger. So how do you do that? Back over here on the, in the scene section, you're going to go ahead and click this little tiny edit scene transitions. And when you do that, you're going to open up another little window and you're going to have a couple of options here or maybe just one. But we're going to add a stinger. So you come up here to the top right and you hit add transition. And when you do that, you're going to get another screen that opens up that you can choose what type of transition you want to install. And I'm going to go with Stinger. So we're going to select Stinger here, and I'm going to go ahead and browse and find the video that I want. So when I hit browse, it opens up another window, and you can already see that we have our three options here laid out for us. So again, we have the no audio, the low audio, and the full audio. I'm going to choose the full audio, and I'm going to hit enter. So now that it's open, I'm going to go ahead and hit done, and now we have our Stinger in place. You just want to make sure to select the defaulted to Stinger and hit done. Now when we swap scenes, you can see it works, but it's not working as intended because you can already see the transition happen, the, the scene swap. So you gotta, you gotta fine tune this. So we're gonna go back into the edit scene transition and go back over to the stinger and hit the little edit icon. And when you do that, the reason this thing was messed up was for two reasons. One, there was no audio. So let's fix that. First, you gotta go over here to the drop down menu for the audio. And instead of hitting monitor off, you wanna either select monitor and output or just monitor only. Now monitor only will only allow you to hear it and not your stream, but if you select monitor and output, your stream will also hear the audio of the stinger. So I'm gonna hit monitor and output, but you notice when I did the transition earlier, the scene switched way too quickly. So you have to put a delay and that's utilized by using the transition point. Now the transition point can be changed by either milliseconds or frames. And for this, I'm gonna leave it on milliseconds. Now, how do you figure out what the transition point is? And that comes back to your folder. So if I open back up the folder and inside the Cubix folder that we got, you see we have a JPEG right here. And inside this uh, this image right here, if you open it up, it actually tells you exactly how to set this up for both Streamlabs and OBS, as in frames and milliseconds. And because we're working with milliseconds, we got to set this to 500. I'm going to go ahead and hit X out of this, X out of this. And back in here, we're going to type in 500. Now when I hit OK, and when I hit Done, you can see when I swap scenes, it has a perfect transition and you don't see any hiccups at all. Now, if you set this up wrong and if I come back in here to the edit and I switch this over to 1500 seconds and I hit done. Now, when I switch, you can see there's a little bit of an extra delay in there that you don't want and you want to make sure to hide that transition perfectly. So going back inside of the transition settings, this time I'm going to select frame, but I don't know how many frames I'm going to need here. So if we went back to 500, and I hit done, you're going to see that that's the wrong time. So what you want to do is you want to go back into your transition folder. So at the bottom of this folder, you do have the image. And if we open that back up, you can see both for Streamlabs and OBS. Now we got to look for frames. Now over here, if you're comfortable working with frames, you can go ahead and select 20 frames. So back up in here and inside the transition settings, I'm going to go to transition settings, set this to frame. And we're going to switch this to 20 because that's when the transition needs to be happening. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And now when we switch, it is a perfect 
seamless transition. Maybe I'm thinking the audio is a little bit too loud for me. So if I go back into my browse, I can actually choose the lower audio version. And when I hit open and I hit done, now we are going to go ahead and have a lesser volume on our transition. Or if we didn't like that either, we can go back into transition, go back into browse, select the no audio, hit done. And now when I switch scenes, no audio at all. And maybe that's something you're looking for. So choose the one that best works for you. For me, I'm going to choose the one with full audio. And that's looking pretty good. Last thing that I want to do here is I want to go back into the settings and I just want to name this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the yellow edit icon, switch this over to, we're going to call it Cubix Stinger. So now that I've set this to Cubix Stinger, I know exactly which Stinger that is. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And now my transition is fully set up and it is ready to go. So this covers how to set up your brand new Stinger and transition. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy streaming. Stay safe and I'll see you later.